people are really they're really resonating with the images that they're seeing because they've been at these concerts, they love these artists, and whether they appreciate it for the memories and the experiences that they're remembering, or they or they're liking it because of the photo composition, it doesn't really matter. It's just it just means that rock and roll communicates to everyone. That rock and roll has built this audience that and we all feel similarly because rock and roll has been the soundtrack of our lives. And these images I hope are the visual evidence of, of the artists. It's a documentation of the artists and the history of rock and roll that I've been privileged to be a part of for 38 years. I've, I've really enjoyed the couple of days that I've been here, and, and everything looks fabulous. The, the staff at South Shore Arts are, are wonderful, and I'm really glad that you've had a chance to see these photos. Um, half of them, my photos, were originally in an exhibition at the Rock Hall in 2003. Yes, thank you for helping us all live together. When the Beatles came to America in 1964, I was 10 years old, and they changed my life. The, the music, rock and roll music, just totally grabbed me. Um, I knew that I wanted to be somewhere close to this music, but I couldn't play guitar, so what I could play was camera. I, I had already been playing with my parents' camera and shooting pictures of the neighborhood kids and the dog and, and also had been going down to our local radio station and working with the disc jockeys, believe it or not, at 12 years old, working with disc jockeys, answering fan mail for records, but I always had my camera with me. So my first published picture was a picture of Sonny and Cher at WKYC Radio from 1966. It paid me $2 and it was in Teen Screen Magazine. Well, I'd already found my career path. And, you know, through high school papers, college papers, I, I was, interviewing, was interviewing musicians and taking photos of musicians and it just built. It built into a career. By, by 1974, at the age of 20, I was already doing this full time. This is this is this was my my career and my my life's work. And now, 38 years later, I'm here in Munster, Indiana, with this lovely exhibition that originally uh, was housed at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003. They did a major exhibition of my work, and it's toured since then, and now finds its way to South Shore Arts in Munster, Indiana until February 3rd, I believe it'll be up, and, and really the reaction has been amazing.